I'd like to be remembered as a person who made a difference. He was a Ratan indeed. That is what most Indians feel today with the passing of Ratan Tata Ji. Born on December 28, 1937 in Mumbai, Ratan Tata was raised by his grandmother Nawaz Bhai Tata after his parents' separation. As the great-grandson of Tata Group founder Jumshed Ji Tata, he carried the weight of a proud family legacy. Ratanji completed his education at the Cathedral and John Connell School in Mumbai before graduating with a degree in architecture from Cornell University in 1962. In 1962, Ratanji joined the Tata Group as an assistant in Tata Industries. He began his career on the shop floor of Jamshedpur plant of Tata Engineering and Locomotive Company, gaining invaluable hands-on experience. By 1972, Ratanji was named director in charge of National Radio and Electronics, where he revitalized the struggling enterprise. In 1981, he became chairman of Tata Industries, launching a strategic transformation that would pave the way for future high-tech ventures. In 1991, Ratan Tata took over as chairman of Tata Sons, succeeding the legendary J.R.D. Tata. At the time, the conglomerate had annual revenues of approximately $5 billion, and Ratanji was determined to drive it to new heights. 1998 was a landmark year with the launch of the Tata Indica, India's first indigenously designed passenger car. This achievement marked a significant turning point in the Indian automotive industry, setting the stage for innovation and growth. Under Ratanji's leadership, Tata Group underwent remarkable global expansion in the 2000s. Key acquisitions included, in 2000, Tata acquired Tetley for $450 million, entering the global beverage market. In 2007, Tata Steel acquired Chorus for $13 billion, making it one of the largest steel producers worldwide. In 2008, Tata Motors acquired Jaguar Land Rover from Ford for $2.3 billion, revitalizing these luxury brands on the global stage. Ratan Tata's contributions were recognized with numerous accolades. In 2000, he received the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian honor. In 2008, he was honored with the Padma Bhushan, the country's second highest civilian award. In 2012, Ratan Tata stepped down as the chairman of the Tata Group, leaving behind a conglomerate with revenues nearing $100 billion. His leadership set a benchmark for corporate responsibility and ethics. Even after retirement, Ratan Tata remained actively involved with the group, serving as interim chairman during a critical transition during 2016-2017. Ratan Tata was committed to philanthropy directing 65% of the company's profits to charitable trusts focused on education, healthcare and rural development. His initiatives transformed countless lives across India. Ratan Tata's dedication to social welfare continued in his later years, with projects like the opening of a cancer hospital in Assam and the Tata Small Animal Hospital, inaugurated in July 2024. His commitment to service was unwavering. Ratan Tata's contributions will continue to inspire future generations. Let us honor his memory by embodying his values of integrity, resilience and service. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. And for more such interesting content, subscribe to Kuvera. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. For more information, visit kuvera.in.